Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Biahero Master Siman channel Ito ang pinaka simple at tutong channel ng mga marino So ngayon guys, uh, we will have some uh, simple tutorial Since wala akong magawa, I feel bored uh, while waiting for the departure So ito na uh, So uh, I'll be discussing how to uh, get a gyro error uh, in port So oh, basic lang guys Hindi na ako magtatagal. Tara. Guys, ito yung ano namin guys. So, ito yung gyro compass namin. So, ito gyro repeater lang to. We have uh, four gyro repeaters here. Uh, uh, two in, on the bridge wings. One here and, and one uh, on the steering stand so this uh, gyro compass guys is uh, connected to master gyro compass so on board we have two master gyro compass which transmit signal to this uh, four gyro repeaters so normally basically we will just uh, use one master gyro compass if the uh, first gyro master gyro compass will fail then we have still back up the second master gyro compass so this uh, uh, gyro compass guys is uh, uh, interface to our uh, navigational uh, equipments here on the bridge so para lang sa uh, kuan hindi na tayo magtatagal ng explanation so this uh, uh, gyro compass is connected to the this so so dito guys makita nyo uh, 03 039 point four or like this so sir three nine you see zero three nine zero three nine point four oh means I'm pipi tick to guys maging zero three nine point three three nine three nine point five depende sa uh, tightness and slackness of our mooring ropes depende so mahigpit o slack so means I'm magsi swing swing din yung ano yung uh, barko natin so Kailangan talaga yung perfect timing na the the ship heading must be parallel to the uh, pier uh, in port. So so yan guys, so punta tayo sa uh, ICDIS guys. So this is our uh, ICDIS on board guys. So makita nyo, this is the our own ship and this is the GTI bird which is parallel to to our ship. It's normal. So now the signal coming from gyro compass guys so we have here also we can uh, determine also here the heading so this one so see uh, in the gyro compass there it's 039 so synchronize lang yan sila guys so here on the chart uh, you can see I put already uh, VRM and EBL so this is a uh, combination in our activities so some like this, uh, it will show only uh, EBL, but in our case here, uh, on same rod like this, so it's a combination of VRM and EBL. So I measure this pier, guys, this pier. So the true course of this pier is 039.8 degrees true. So this is from the chart, so, so this is the true bearing from here, let's say for example, I put here, this one, from there, so that is the true bearing, but meaning to see guys, from here to here, so it is the parallel course, possibly, kung wala kang gyro error. So, uh, you measure the bearing using the EBL, electronic bearing line, from any point here or as long as it is parallel. So, as I measured it, it is 039.8 degrees true. So, this is it, guys. This is it, 039.8 degrees true. But, the gyro heading, so this is the course, uh, 
coming from the gyro compass signal which is parallel to the pier which has a true course of 039.8 degrees now reads this one guys 039.3 degrees that is the gyro course or gyro heading so you apply the uh, very familiar or very famous lines compass best error west or compass list error east so ang mangyayari guys since ang compass heading which is the gyro heading is less than the true bearing or heading 039.8 versus 039.3 so applying compass list error is so our general error is 0. Point, about 0. 0.5 east so yun lang guys, kadali mag uh, uh, det, how to determine uh, gyro error while in port. So pero watch out lang dito kasi minsan, uh, bakit watch out? Kasi minsan yung heading natin, tatabing ni guys, minsan yung barko kasi gaganyan-ganyan due to the, kuan, the tightness or the slackness of mooring ropes. So, it, so yan lang guys, sana may natutunan kayo. So, so more tutorials coming, basta condition lang tayo pag hindi busy. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell for more updates. So hanggang sa muli guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat. Uh, babush, God bless.